Hello everyone, Pockets here, back with some more EVE Online. Back on Cursed, about to start our level 3 missions. So between this video and the first, the last video, I took a run to Dodixie and picked up some T2 shield hardeners. So we'll be able to use those now. I did some playing around with the fit and T2ing the other tank mods is not going to work for us. We just don't have the power grid for it. I also tried to see if I could fit a micro warp drive on our hurricane. And it's just, I think the large shield extender is conflicting. So we're not going to be able to do that, but we're going to go ahead and grab this mission here. What comes around goes around. I think it said it was only oh, six days. Never mind, we're good. On the way there and back, I did run some more Yo Festival events. Got another booster. We're getting pretty close to the end here, so that's nice. Uh, finished it up about three hours ago this last run, so I was coming back from Dodixie. And I'll just keep doing that off camera until the event's over because, I mean, doing a video every time I do three or four sites is just not worth it. So it looks like we're going to be fighting mercenaries, which means they do all kinds of damage. So we're going to want to fit up for that. So let's go see. We want to get rid of the kinetic. Actually, we're going to get both of them. I'm going to put them in there. So that's where I stuck my T2s. And we're going to grab a T2 EM and a T2 thermal. If I can find it, there it is. So there we go. And I tried fitting, like, switching this out for a T2 and these. And just don't have the power grid for it. Tried switching this out for micro warp drive, as I said. Again, no power grid, so we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to train up the power grid skills coming up here shortly. So if we have too much trouble with these tier 3s, we'll have to see what we can do about it. But let's go ahead. It's next door, so that's not a problem. We're going to keep an eye on this now because there's a chance we may get spawned into low sec. We'll have to watch it. But let's go out here. Should be a pretty quick mission remember correctly I'll have to look it up but it should be just a couple of cruisers a handful of them if I remember correctly the other thing I did get oh it's not in there I put those in the wrong bin anyway I did manage to grab during my adventures let's get here into warp uh, this is all good let's move this in that'll do one two perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. Drones are good. That one didn't repair that one again. Let's look in here. I got a hold of a Maelstrom Glacial Drift Skin. So if we find it, it's one of these 60 ones, I think. Oh, it's Kaldari. That's Amar. Galente. Of course, it's the last one I pick. So we do have this. So when we do get to our battleship, we'll have a nice little skin for it. Just like that. There we go. So I was pretty excited when I dropped that in the site earlier. Uh, a couple T2 frigates and stuff. I'm going to send those off to Cal or sell them. Might sell them to Cal as a way to transfer money. Just We'll see. Because technically the Alpha did earn them. I actually ran the sites in the Thrasher again. It was pretty good. It went pretty quick. So maybe 20 minutes for the five levels. We're up to 17 million. Uh, the one crate dropped one of the agency style boosters so I wasn't all that impressed but we'll get the we'll get the boosters anyway the accelerators because they help let's just go right ahead warp to our site and let's kill these guys so according to this they are short range so if we can shoot out past 50 kilometers we can go without even taking shot other than the main guy and yeah so that should be fun. I should be able to do that because our base range is just about there. So we're just outside our fall off range. But we should be able to apply pretty decently out to that. So we'll see what happens. See how the tank holds. Go ahead and turn those on. We'll see how this does. First level 3 mission. It's got a nice little light one. We should make pretty short work of cruisers. I'm just going to go ahead and put these together. So yeah. And what I have my orbit set to, let's just actually set it to 50, uh, 42, 40, let's do 40. Stop wasting my time, sounds good. Orbit you, lock, 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 lock. Won't even worry about the drones right now because I think we'll make sure, as I said, we'll make short work of this baby. And let's get the bounty hunter first because he's probably going to do the most damage. Shoot him, a couple shots, he'll go down this guy because he'll be the last one we kill and let's just see yeah tanks holding just fine 
They're doing just a little more than our recharge rate each, so we'll have to work quick. Come on, you can do it. Minimize this, because we're not running that right now. Here's our agent mission. And yeah, so we'll just pull down these cruisers and call it. 1500 damage, not bad. So we're applying to them quite well. There we go, he's gone. These are 90,000 apiece, that's not terrible. I'm about to turn on the uh, orbit here, so that'll get us taking less damage, but we probably track a little worse as well, so we'll see what happens here. Shoot that guy. Yeah, so level three missions, we're in it. This is where we start getting decent ISK. Uh, we could build up this battle cruiser to a point where we could run these really well and use them as our ISK source, but I'm going to go ahead and go straight to battleship just because that's what I want to do. Are we orbiting this guy? Is that what we're doing? Come on. There we go. This guy's out to 50, so he's not even hitting us anymore. Let's see how well we can apply to him, because he's probably going to be trying to burn in straight to us. So wait for that to cycle. The nice thing with the uh, Thrasher was the auto cannon's cycle time, which is so fast that by the time I needed to do him again, they were done cycling. Yeah, we're not hitting him. Or, yeah, barely. Ah, we'll take this guy out. We're going to close in on this guy. While we do that, let's shoot this guy instead. There we go. And yeah, not a problem on the tank here, so that's great. I'm pretty sure my Drake had more tank than this. It was a little beefier way back um, in the day. But I think that was before some nerfing happened too, so I don't know what a Drake would look like now. But there was a few times I had to like jump out of the mission and recharge my shields. So we'll see how this goes over the next few missions and if we need to tweak the fit. But I think we're going to do all right. It'd be nice if we can get the skills so we can swap out that one... Maybe swap this out for another one of these at some point once we've got the skills, like the capacitor skills and stuff trained up. There we go. Uh, let's actually reload these so we don't do it halfway through and waste rounds. Because if they do any recharging, we don't want them to be recharging while we're reloading. That's just a waste of effort. Oh. And fire. Boom. With the last guy, let's just do a keep it range. That'll uh, mitigate our traversal. So we don't have to worry about them. So we should start actually getting some pretty serious hits. As we close the gap. So now they're doing 50 of our, what, 59 I think it was? Yeah, so we're actually now recharging faster than they're hitting. So as long as we can take things down quick enough, we should be okay. I am curious to see what we do when we have more dudes on grid all this off and we're gonna go home I will bring you back when we're picking up the next mission what am I doing warping reloading see you in station all right we're in here we're gonna hand in our mission and we'll see what we get for standings gains complete mission him up there. Let's open this baby up and see where we're at. Just to get an idea of how many missions this is going to take us. It's going to be a few. So we got 0.5. So yeah, we got a ways to go. It's going to be fun. We're going to get in here and we're going to do it. Let me just take a quick look at the social skills to see if there's anything we can do to speed this up. Because I think I've already trained social as high as it'll go. Hostile agents won't help us. Effective standing from friendly, not limited with diplomacy. Oh, so I should make connections a, a thing. We're going to get a 8% increase. Is there anything around? 200,000 in the system. So we will grab that. Uh, buy this. And we'll check the other skills as well. Oops, I already bought it. Set destination. All right. Anything else? Uh, connections we looked at, fast talking we can't do, negotiation for this additional pay, give us 10% additional pay, that might be something, 
to grab as well. That's in the same station, so we'll grab that. Uh, security connections, improves loyalty point payout by 10% per level when working for security agents. We'll go ahead and grab that. Now that we're on level threes, these are becoming a little more worth it. So I'll probably grab these and stick them in. We can buy this one here. It costs an extra 9K. I'm not gonna worry about, or 9 million. Ugh. It's 39 million. We don't have that. So we will leave that one for now, but we'll have to remember to grab that when we have some ISK. And that'll be it. Okay, so where I'm gonna grab the next mission. I'm gonna go grab those two skill books and then I'm gonna get on grid. Let's find out what the mission is. Let's move these to their proper box. So I did buy some station containers so I can get sorted. So I like doing that as well. So there's the skins I found. I'll probably sell some of these. There's a good couple million in here. So anyways, focus. Spy stash. It is next to here. So we have to go from the headquarters and get the classified reports and bring them back. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead, grab those two skill books, and I'll get on grid with the baddies, and we'll shoot them. So I'll see you on grid. All right, and we are warping to the gate. I am going to try to blitz this mission. Apparently, we don't have to kill pocket one, so we can just get on through to the last room and kill everything there and grab what we need. So I'm going to try to do that. We'll see how the tank holds up. This will be, this will be a good test because there's going to be a few more things on grid this time. I did grab those two skill books and add them to the beginning of my queue. We're going to be done in like five hours, six hours, seven hours. So we'll be done by tomorrow with as far as we can get them as an alpha. So that'll be great. That'll help out. And then back to high speed maneuvering and then power grid. We're going to start getting some of these long trains out of the way while we're grinding th the level three missions because they'll help us improve the battle cruiser if we need to. So I'm hoping with power grids and we'll get advanced weapon or get the weapon upgrade skills uh, beefed out a bit as well. Uh, advances are done, but we can get this one to get some more CPU if we need to. Uh, CPU capacitor, we'll get those in the queue. And so on. Lots of little things we can do here to sort of speed things along. We're going to go ahead and get into the pocket. And we're going to try to dive through. Does look like they have a web scramming frigates, but they're a little ways off. So hopefully we can get to the gate before. It'd be nice to have a micro warp drive for this, but we'll see. If we start taking too much damage, we'll see what we can do. Group two, we have to just take out this group, but I'm a little bit worried about the damage we're gonna get from these, especially the heavy missiles. So we will uh, see what we need to do there as well. But we're gonna try to blitz it. Uh, most of our money from these are gonna come from LP, which I still have to cash in the last batch. I've done one. Uh, I did fit my kinetic and explosive tank because this is Angel Cartel. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're not even gonna shoot these because if we shoot the guns, they aggro the rest of the room, so we'll see what happens here. And this guy's starting to aggro me, so I'm just going to go ahead and shoot what I can while I'm jumping the gate here. This is going to take us a hot minute to get to range, so we'll wipe out what we can to minimize the overall damage. I won't be putting the drones out because I just want to be able to bail as soon as I can. So we'll see what we can do here. Things are holding. Wait for our artillery to finish cycling. Uh, we may have to try to work out an active tank build. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Like I said, this is similar to my my Drake fit from before when I was last doing these. That guy got in under our guns. He's going to be hard to hit, but it's okay. Tank's holding. Doing okay. I'm target painted, which means we're going to take a little bit of extra damage. We've done eight kilometers so far. So, not too bad. Here we go. What? Oh, it looks like we got it. Excellent. So, yeah, we did all right. There's a lot more here that's going to be in the second pocket, so... Come on, warp it. Get me out of here. I'm at half. Come, come, come. There we go. So, that was fantastic. We're at about half. <laughs> but we got through it. We got through it. Uh, I'm going to take out these sentries, I think. There's the officer's quarters. So we'll see what happens. So that's the one we need to get to. But first, I think we're going to just pick a direction and move. And let's start by wiping these babies out. I know it's going to aggro the whole pocket, but shooting them is going to aggro them anyways. And we'll probably use our drones this time. See if we can't quickly wipe out these heavy missile ones at the very least. Because I think... Sentry guns. 
Ah, they're not doing too bad. We'll get them wiped out, it's fine. But yeah, these missions are going to be a little bit longer, so I'll probably fit a few less per episode, but we'll see how we do. I do want to start live streaming, but with the holidays, uh, timing is pretty difficult, so probably something I'll figure out starting in the new year. So look forward to that as well. Uh, probably on Twitch, I just I seem to have problems with uh, time difference, like lag between on YouTube, and I can't get it down as well as I can get on Twitch. So if I can figure that out, maybe I'll do it on YouTube as well. But for now, it'll be a Twitch thing. So keep an eye out there. I'll put a put make sure there's a link for that down there, and you can start being ready. Come hang out and actually chat with me while we run that we run these missions. That'll be great. And again, as I know what sort of time frame, what time window I'm looking at in days, I will definitely let you all know. I will definitely let you all know. Shoot him. There's a battle cruiser here. That'll be giving me a pounding here, I bet. Yeah, these are all. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just wipe our way through everything. These drone, these destroyers are here, so I'm gonna get the drones out to take care of them. See what we see. Go get that guy. I'm actually going to go ahead and drop this guy for now. So I can target get the other one. So I can put the drones on him right away. Keep an eye on the drones. Make sure they don't take any damage. And we'll just go through and shoot all these things. I'm going to just orbit this at current. Uh, I don't know how to do an orbit at current. So let's do 20. Ugh, 20. There. That'll do. Tank's holding just fine. Let's shoot this guy once our cycle's done. Pow! So one of the things I'm thinking I want to do once I start live streaming as well is if any of you guys want to run missions either just together or at the same time, grouped up, or whatever you want to do. I don't mind flying with other people. We can get on comms and chat or we can... All of that. Uh, it'll be fun to be able to chat with you guys live and actually answer questions. Because I do get a lot of questions and... That's my favorite thing in EVE is figuring this stuff out, so. Well, let's get, yeah, we'll get this one because he's going to hurt me more. Some wrecks. I don't, gonna, we're not going to bother looting them. We need this at some point, but we're going to wait until we're going to take less damage because these guys can seriously hurt us. Let's uh, get our traversal down on this guy so we can apply our full guns for the last few shots here. Probably should have reloaded before I shot him. We only get 20 shots with the artillery. Which is something I have to get used to. Turning around. Yeah, this is working out just fine. I don't think our tank's having much trouble at all. This isn't the biggest threat mission. There's some where the DPS incoming can be pretty hairy. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I had tried to shoot that first room, we probably would have run into trouble. I'm going to go ahead and reload this. While my drones continue to work. target that just so I can get to it easier. These guys are focusing on me, which is great. And here we go. Just erased them. Look at that. So there we go. We got the killing done. We're going to go ahead get our drones to come home. Come home, drones. We're going to loot this baby. We're going to save some capacitor. We're going to reload our guns, even though they barely got used after the last reload. And then we have it. So that's that mission complete. We blitzed it pretty good. I'm going to take a look at how much LP we have. Uh, the one thing that does increase with the levels significantly is the LP payouts. So that'll also help us make some esk. We have to take a run of uh, sisters' probes up to Dodixie and sell them off. Or if they sell well here, but I don't think they will. Get a better price in Dodixie, but we will see. 18 million, the bounties are going well, so that's good. What? Oh. <laughs> I locked up a wreck and not... The this that we needed. We needed the this. So there's some papers in here we have to get. We'll grab those and we will head back to base. So I will actually just do that off camera because it'll take us a hot minute to get there. And I will see you guys when we're docked up and handing in the mission. All right, here we are hitting the station. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm actually, I should have trained these a long time ago. Probably would have sped some things up, but that's okay. I mean, even just the 8 or 10% would have made a bit of a difference. So it's going to make more of a difference now, but still, 
Would have been nice. Gonna get used to using the agency again, still. Let me just keep moving there. I want it there so it's not interfering with my window. All right. We're gonna go ahead and cash this baby in. So we're getting a just under a million-esque, and that's almost an entire set of probes, so not bad at all. You know, it's another million and a half there. So the isk is gonna start coming in. Our standings are doing what standings do. We got a fair bit for that one, it looks like. Yeah, not bad. What is the mission? Rogue Slave Trade. Er, one of two. This is a two-part mission. This will be all right. Second part will probably have more of the ISK. Let's go ahead and accept it. It is in this system. Excellent. So we'll accept that. And I'm going to look at how much LP we have, because that's something I want to see. We have... 10,000. So we could actually do a fair bit, cash in a few of these probes if we had the probe. Prob. These ones right here. 1,800. So we could do like 8. A little bit less than 8. A little more than 8. So I'll probably do that as well. Maybe I'll do one more mission and then maybe we'll do a, a caching out and I can show you that. I'm pretty sure they have the probes I need. And it does require having to Wow, I can't even wear it. It's scanner probes on hand. So I can just buy them here. If you look. We'll do this after the mission. Let me just do the mission and then I'll set up for that. So, do do do. This one's in this system, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it with you guys here. This is Blood Raiders, so this is going to be EM. EM Thermal. So, minimize this. Open our fit. And we are going to get EM Thermal. EM Thermal, EM Thermal. Uh, do, do. And EM. Nope. Nope. I said close. EM. Where's my T2 Thermal? There. There's one of them. Beautiful. EM Thermal. Let's go ahead and get our here. And put our EM on because we want to do EM damage. So we're ready to fly. Perfect. And let's make sure these fittings didn't end up in here. They did. And we're good to go. So let's go right ahead. We'll let dock and we'll shoot ourselves some Blood Raiders. One second. Random coughing fit, but dealt with. Let's go ahead and get on grid. So part one, it says, uh, say pen... Taking hull damage triggers the spawn after five to seven minutes. Spawn will occur within nine elements if you ignore the slave pan. So kill the first group, kill the battle cruiser. So it looks like we could just kill the slave pan loot and warp out. But we might just shoot the things first. Let's just take a look. Yeah, these guys scram, so we're gonna want to get rid of them anyways. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll take everything out in this one. The battle cruisers will probably give us decent uh, about a hundred thousand esque each. So we need the ISK, so it's time to start grabbing when we have battle cruisers and up. Maybe cruisers, we'll see how much they're worth as well. The battle cruisers don't take too long to kill, so there we go. So we want these guys. And we're gonna turn on our tank, because I forgot. This, 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 come on, lock them up. There we go. And we want, no, why is that not showing up? Okay. Let's just uh, see here. Is it this thing? Okay, we want... Let's get moving. Let's shoot this guy. Let's get this on. Let's sort of head this way, because what we need is over down here. And uh, let's get our drones out to take care of these little guys, because they're going to start scramming us. Let's see if we can't find this slave pen that we need. What is... PVE. We don't need these. There's the beacon. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Let's turn all of our... Ugh. So here's a little trick. We're looking down. I'm going to turn off this because I want to be able to watch what I'm doing. Let's shoot this guy. Let's go here. Turn on all brackets. Can we see it? Why can't we see the statement? I'm pretty sure that's it. Ah. 
add large collidable. Yeah, that's the one. So let's remove that. Go to here. Add large collidable. We're gonna stop here. We're gonna shoot the poop out of this thing. Shouldn't take us long. The drones are gonna continue doing their thing. Can I shoot you? That'd be great. And then the rest of the stuff is gonna spawn because we're hitting it. And that's it. So I added the large collidables. So that's what I said. My overview is still a work in progress. So I had to add that. That's not a problem. Let's go ahead and start. We don't actually need to approach it. We're close enough to just loot it. Come on. Spawn your little defensive wave. Would ya? Would you please? Please. Okay. Let's loot that. There's our prisoners. And I guess we'll call that done since they're not seeming to want to spawn. So let's get our drones in. Oh, big blinding light. Holy smokes, that explosion. That's wonderful stuff. All right, docking up. I guess they're not going to spawn the second wave, so. No, I said, no, don't do that. Go back. There. Excellent. Take that off. Reload that. That turned out just fine. Nice and quick and easy. The second half is going to be a bit longer. Uh, what's the blitz? Warp in. So we have to kill the first group, jump the gate, kill the second group, and uh, so not a problem. This won't be this won't be bad at all. So we're going to go ahead and hand this baby in. I'm going to do it with you guys right here on screen. I'm looking for some of these other missions. I remember running level 4. Some of my favorites were like the um, Angel Extravaganzas. Lots and lots of battleships. I don't know if they... I don't remember if they have a level 3 version, though. They do, yeah. So something like that would be nice. Where you get a lot of ships. And you just have to kill them all, so they're good for the bounties. They take a few minutes. Those are always my faves. I don't, the shooting things is my favorite part of this game. So we'll go ahead and can this in. Not bad at all. We'll press the second part. And we'll just go straight back out and do it. It's in the next door system. There we go. See another set of, of probes. So this is going to be good stuff. So let's go ahead and I will get us on grid. Let's get that out, keeping the tank, keeping everything the same. And once we run the second part, we'll look at maybe, we'll see how much time we have left. We're actually running pretty close to time. So we'll probably have to end it after this mission. And then I'll start the next episode with turning in some, uh, some words, the th probes. We'll cash in the probes and get some more isk in our wallet. And by then, who knows what'll be the thing. I'm just going to go ahead and warp us through. We're going to stay on grid. This is fine. Definitely let me know if you guys are interested in like teaming up on live stream or even during a recording. Um, my playtime is kind of random. Easiest place is to get over to our Malro Discord and hit me up there. Uh, or you can drop me a message in the YouTube chat. Those are the two best places to get me. Eve mail is hit or miss whether I check it. But either of those two places I check regularly would be just fine. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I definitely like playing this with other people. And especially if you're new and you have questions and you want to ask questions while you're running the missions, we can definitely do that. Just singing a song to myself as I warp to the gate. And yeah, this should be pretty fun. The first room is lots of small stuff too, so it should just be a head to the gate, wipe them out, jump the gate. Looks like we have some battle cruisers in the next pocket, and then we're done. So let's go ahead and warp to location. We'll turn on our tank mods so we do not forget. Don't like those little, little numbers down in the corner, so I always have to open the thing. And that's just the way it is. There's our guy there. I wonder if, oops, too late now. Got 
Excellent stuff. I know I've said it before, but I've been having a lot of fun doing this series. And a lot of your guys' comments are great. I'm enjoying chatting with you guys. And yeah, just showing what EVE is to me. This is the game. You know, watching the warps is very relaxing. I can sit here and, when I'm not recording, watch something on YouTube or Netflix and run missions. Uh, so it's a lot of good fun stuff for me while I'm not uh, actively participating in PvP. Which, you know, as a stay-at-home homeschooling family, there's not as much time as one might think, I guess. So a lot of my day is spent doing that stuff, but even some of that I can run missions while homeschooling. Once the kids are set up, it's not a problem at all. So I think I'm just going to sit and face tank this since we're right on the gate. I should have actually seen if I could jump it, but we'll just go ahead and wipe these out. Since it's going to be the last mission of the day, we'll stretch it out as long as we can so we can hang out together in space. One of the things I wanted to start doing with Malro too is have multiple people group up and run their separate missions but for the same or different factions. So group up in like a group of four but everybody splits off and runs their own missions and just grind LP that way as well might be a fun way to do it. Or at least standing if not LP. So that's something I might put together with the guys once we have a few more new guys that want to run missions for road and shipyards. In Corp. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Oh, he was already shooting the raider. I should have just left him. There we go. Yeah, see, these are no problem at all at this level. Let's go ahead and wipe that guy out. Once our guns finish cycling, damn nine second cycle time. There we go. And, oops, not that. Let's put a firework on this guy too, because I don't think you guys saw these yet. Let's see if it actually goes off here. He might actually explode before the fireworks go off, but we'll see what happens. I'll remember to do it in the next one. There, that's perfect timing. Look at that. <laughs> Those are great fireworks. I like them a lot. All right. Call my dronies. Reload my guns. And jump the gate. And we're going to wipe out the next pocket. I think there might be a decent screenshot in there, so that'll be fun. Warping the gate, warping the gate. Wallet is increasing up to 26 mil, let's say. 20 mil, yeah. So, battleship's probably gonna be expensive. Probably gonna need about 100 million for fits, is my guess. Oh, I remember these. Yeah, yeah, I remember these. Okay. I remember doing these ones, the four corners. Uh, let's pick the battle cruiser as the first corner because they're going to hurt us the most. We're going to target all that. Going to get our drones out. We're going to get them on this thing. We're going to wipe this out. Uh, we're going to like burn this direction and get things behind us. Let's get that on there. We one shot at that gun turret, so that's fine. Let's get these battle cruisers out of here because they're the next and most dangerous. Just gonna have to wipe everything out as quickly as we can. Boom! Look at that explosion. Oh no, I accidentally bumped the button. So yeah, once these battle cruisers go down, I don't think we'll be that hard up. Let's get our frigates, make sure they're gonna take these guys out next. Because that's where they're gonna do the most good. I probably should have burned like away from these battle cruisers instead of towards them, but that's okay. I'll just target these babies up. And yeah, so that's not so bad at all. There's nothing to loot, so I can just burn straight away and let them kite behind me. Kite them behind me. Let's put this guy here so I can get him next. That guy's probably... I can only have five targets. That's perfectly fine. Tank's getting to about half. I'm not worried, though, because our major DPS is starting to fall away. Uh, you see the slavers are hitting us for almost as much as we can recharge. So we'll just get them gone. Try to get the rest of what we can here. Uh, let's start sort of heading. So we don't want to get them too far out of the 40 kilometers. So let's go ahead and come this way. That guy's already out, but we'll kill him last. That's fine. In fact, I don't think we need to kill everything. I think we just need to kill the ships. So let's do that. Oh, yeah, they're outside of range, eh? 
Let's just go ahead and approach you. Can I shoot him? That'd be great. Okay, that's erased. We'll go ahead and warp that up. Bring the drones back. Let's align. Let's turn all this off. Let's reload. And let's dock it up. Beautiful. Nice and quick. We'll leave the sentry guns behind. They're not really worth a whole lot. 50,000 apiece. So there's that. Mission complete. Drones in. We are good. Another thing I'm going to consider doing is once we're at level 4 is I might... And we're happy with the training. Because there's a lot of training to do yet. So i got to see what we have for room. But I might train for salvaging. And start doing the MTUs. And... But I'll show you guys how I do that. It's unfortunate we can't fly an Octus. But it's fine. We can do it in a... In a, in a destroyer, we could probably repurpose our rup or rupture, repurpose our thrasher for salvage operations. And then you just warp to the mission site, drop the MTU, do the mission, go home, cash in the mission, grab your salvage or go back out, loot and salvage, and go home. Uh, I don't enjoy doing it in a destroyer as much because sometimes the loot, the salvage, can take up too much room, and you have to make multiple trips. Whereas the uh, the Noctis can carry a lot more, but if you guys are interested in seeing that, uh, what I prefer doing is find new people, get them in the destroyer with salvagers, and they can come hang out while I run missions, and come and salvage and loot them when they're safe to do so. And they stay in the same system, they get the out, the rep gains without being in danger. There's connections level one. That gives us a bonus to our standings gains. Hooray! Am I docking to the right system? I am. This is great. It went very well. Level three missions, not too worried. Um, again, still not very heavy on damage, so that one is fairly concentrated, so you take a lot of it early on, because you sort of end up in the middle of everything in the auto diagro, so that one's a good test of the tank. Uh, once we get an Angel's Extravaganza, I'll have a better idea, because that can be a much more tr trying mission. So if we look here, so... So you can unlock gains for the waves. There's ways you can mitigate it, but you come in, there's all these waves. And then all of this. All of this is just damage. There's no triggers, they're just kind of in there. And it's four pockets worth, five pockets worth, yeah. And then there's a bonus, which I've actually never been able to do. There's a lot of damage in here. So I've never actually been able to pull it off the bonus pocket, so that may be something to work as well. But you can see loot is actually worth something, up to 11 mil. And bounties up to 8 mil, so these are good missions. They take a while. I'd probably be an entire episode running that mission. But those are the ones I like, so we'll see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and hand this in. Let's go ahead. I will get this out of the way. Uh, what am I doing? Agency. Angel doesn't like us no more. Grab that baby. Start the conversation and complete the mission. There's another over a million, over three million, really, with the LP. So there's that. We can start the conversation, see what our next mission is going to be, but we'll probably have to do that in the next episode. Angel Extravaganza. Oops. I already accepted it. Unauthorized military presence. All right. Whoops, geez. By Serpentis. Okay, that's not a problem. We'll deal with that momentarily. So we got that. We're not quite halfway, but a third of the way, so not bad. Not bad at all. LP store, market. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go probe. So we now have 12,000, so let's go ahead and... Nope, not like that. Highlight. View. Market details. How many sets can we do? Let's do the math real quick. I don't want to buy too many. So calculator. You guys won't see this because I'm going to use the Windows calculator. But it is. Actually, I can do this. Aha! You can see the Windows calculator. Look at that. It's 12,000 because we know that. Divided by 1,800. So we can do six. Almost seven. So we'll do six sets. So we need 60 pros because you need 10. So someone's always, someone's usually nice enough to sell them here. They're not, I mean, they're very overpriced. It would be worth me going out and getting them. So actually, you know what? Yeah, we're going to hold off. They're 30 grand here. I'm going to go out to one of these other systems and pick them up cheap. If I can find one that's not going through low sec. And we'll actually do that at the beginning of the next episode. So 
Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you liked the video, running our level 3 missions. It was a lot of fun. If you did like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Take care of each other. I am out of here.